When I started looking for a welder, the popularity of the Lincoln Pro MIG 180 caught my interest. The price and list of features didn't hurt anything either. The Pro MIG 180 has a simple control panel with all of the major controls grouped on the front of the machine. The wire storage and feed apparatus are located inside this large door on the side of the machine. Lincoln puts a sticker inside that door that shows setup information for many common welding situations. Lincoln includes a one pound spool of the flux core wire I have installed in the machine as well as this two pound spool of gas wire. You have to get your own gas bottle but Lincoln includes a regulator set and hose. The regulators fit common mixture bottles with 75% argon and 25% CO2. Lincoln also includes a nice gun with all the components you need to change it over from flux core welding to MIG welding. They also supply extra rollers for different size wires. Also in the box are full instructions and a handheld face shield. Of everything in this kit, I like the handheld face shield the least. It is effective at protecting your eyes and face, but I'd rather have a helmet. But helmets can cost way over a hundred bucks, and that's exactly why Lincoln puts his handheld face shield in the box. Taking a welding class would have been a great idea, but like a lot of you, I don't have time for that, so I read the instruction book, read the how to weld part of that, and jumped right into building myself a welding cart for my new tool. While building the welding cart, I discovered a few things. Welding at some angles isn't as easy as welding at others. I also discovered that the heat and the wire speed settings have a lot to do with how good the weld comes out. But most important is that learning to weld takes a lot of practice. Lincoln says their ProMig 180 has a user-friendly arc, and that sure seems to be true. Between that friendly arc and the information they supply in the instructions, I began to make some progress in teaching myself to weld. Describing my early welds as bubblegum would have been kind of charitable. This kind of weld told me that I better develop a better technique or my welding cart's going to fall apart. After a little more reading and a little more practice, I actually started going back and fixing some of my early welds. They still weren't right, but they're getting better. Here I was too focused on just the movement of the gun and not the angle or the heat being used. Then I raised the heat a little bit, maintained the same speed, and the weld got better. I've got lots to learn, but the Lincoln Pro MIG 180 is making that process fun. This is a well-built, easy-to-use welder with a range of capabilities that won't be obsolete when I learn how to weld. If you're thinking about adding a welder to your shop, take a look at the Lincoln Pro MIG 180.